right, so um, there's one question I've always wanted to ask you, which I don't think you've covered that much in the videos that you've done. So you, you've done the teardowns, you've talked about the manufacturing process. I'm sure we'll talk again about uh, giga castings and things like that. Um, I have a very early Model S, 2012 Model S, that I always joke was hand built by manufacturer by marketing. I mean, mm -hmm. this thing, you, as you described, every single nut and bolt is a different size. It's just crazy. Um, Tesla's been very innovative in the rapidity of which they make changes on the line. I've never heard a discussion about what that does for serviceability, right? Because there's design for manufacturing and there's design for service. Those two things aren't necessarily the same thing. So do you want to talk about the consequences? Yeah, sure. Um, serviceability. You can either have serviceability or reliability. Pick one. You can't have both. If I make it so that it's reliable, it's probably going to be a bugger to service. And the reason for that is because I want reliability, which is going to give me long life. Now, uh, Tesla, I, I, I uh, equate Tesla to um, um, basically engineering at the speed of thought. They move faster, 10, 20, 100 times faster than any company I've ever seen. We can't believe how many changes that they've made in two years on the Model Y. Think on it. I mean, we talked about, you, you mentioned the castings. When I made the comments about the, the Model Y, uh, or the Model uh, 3, they were already into the Model Y, and then the Model Y turned from whatever they had to two castings in the back. And then, what, two years, a year and a half basically later, they're producing the big casting in the front, the big casting in the back, and they've got 12 of those. Uh, Idra is uh, very close to Monroe, and Idra's the guys that make the big giant presses, and um, Idra told me that there's 12 more uh, 8,000 ton presses, which nobody on the planet even knew you could make, uh, and uh, they're going someplace in North America because they can't say <laughs> Tesla. They're not allowed to say Tesla. And then I went to look at the uh, the guys that are doing the molds, also in Italy. And uh, they, I, I, some of you know I was a toolmaker before I was an engineer. And uh, I worked on lots of molds and dies. And I looked at their molds, and I never saw anything like them. And they say well, we call them puzzle molds. And instead of getting, instead of getting uh, maybe, I don't know maybe 40,000 shots before you have to swap the, the molds for for polishing and whatnot, they can get like 100,000 uh, of these things uh, shot in, in these molds. And the reason for that is because they breathe a little bit. Now, I don't wanna, there's probably other questions coming down the pipe, but this this speed that they can move, moving from the uh, the octo, uh, sorry, from the uh, super bottle to the octo bell. Holy mackerel! Nobody, nobody had ever thought of anything like like what we saw on the octo bell, or sorry, uh, the uh, the super bottle. And then the next product that comes out, uh, the model Y that came out, they abandoned it. I mean, people were looking at the other. Well, I don't know uh, how we can do that. And boom, they were already into the octo bell heating and cooling system for the, for the car. These guys move faster than everybody. No one moves as fast as Tesla, nobody. Um, and when they come out, the products may have a couple of hiccups for uh, a month or two, but they, they, they jump on it and fix things much, much faster. And the reason for that is that they got money. Nobody else got any money. Nobody else, nobody, zero. Well, let me rephrase that. Nobody's got as much money as Tesla has. Actually. Can you, can you put up that slide, the, uh, the one that talks about the Altman Z-Store? Um, not that one, you're seeing it. Yeah, yeah, go down. There you go. Okay, so, you know all those other things out there, Moody and Bloomberg and all that? It's all garbage. I don't know how anybody can get sucked in using that shit. This is what you want. That thing right there. The Altman Z-Score tells you exactly where people are. So look at that one line and see what it says. Oh, those are bad boys. 
They're, they're below the line. That means that they're on the verge of bankruptcy. They haven't got any money. Why in the world do you think that VW sold, uh, sold off Porsche? <laughs> they got no cash. And who do you think is going to be next to get sold off? Audi. There's one you don't want to. They got the biggest battery and the worst range. I mean, it's like, who, who's, who's in charge of that one? But you look down there and you can see that there's only maybe a couple of guys that have got enough to get into the gray zone. But look at Tesla on the bottom. Their, their line goes on forever. They got tons of money. They can afford to spend on new product development. They can afford to spend on uh, anything they really want. And the reason for that is because, um, do we have any people from Harvard here? Don't put your hands up. Just, <laughs> don't, 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 don't do that. Because after I say what I'm gonna say, you're probably not gonna like me and you're not, not gonna want to have anything. Harvard has given us a lot of real gems. Number one on the hit parade. Well, you really need to outsource. Really? Does Tesla outsource? No. Vertical integration. I just got back from Vietnam to go and look at VinFast, and we were talking about cars that are going to make it. That car will make it. It's going to be made right down the road here in North Carolina, and uh, you're going to like it. I was really, really impressed. Blown away impressed. Blown away impressed. How much money have they got? A trillion. They got a trillion dollars. That's a lot of money. That's like a whole government all by itself. And they do all kinds of stuff. Vin Group is huge. Absolutely huge. They're going to come in and they're going to be kicking a lot of tail. What's the number one thing? Number one thing that they said as soon as they found out that I was in the crowd, was sitting in the audience, they said, uh, and this is for Sandy Monroe, we are vertically integrated, we don't trust suppliers. <laughs> Obviously, they haven't had a Harvard guy come down in. <laughs> so, I'm telling you right now, Elon and I have a lot of things in common. My biggest peeve, the thing that I think is the worst thing that can happen to a, a car company is to take an engineer and give him, an MBA, give him an MBA. It takes a cheapskate and you makes them even cheaper. And that's not the way you want to do things if you're going to have a, if you're going to have a good car company. So that's that's enough. Everybody's quiet now. <laughs> I'm looking at the